Hi guys, so this video is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to manually back up and make copies of your Steam games. Obviously you can do this through Steam, but I prefer to do it manually, as I like seeing where the files are actually going and having control over them. Sometimes you do have to download a little bit more afterwards, but usually it's okay, and it's definitely not as much as downloading the full game. So you can either rename them and keep them in the same folder as they originally found. It's quite useful for modding, like when you're doing games like GTA 5, you can have a modded copy and a clean copy for playing online. Or you can move them for a different, to a different storage location if you've got slow internet and you don't want to have to re-download them again and maybe don't have the hard drive space or using an SSD like I am. So first you want to open your Explorer and go to your local disk and then you want to find your Steam Apps folder which is in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps and Common. Now as you can see I've only actually got two games installed, Arc, which is what I'm mostly playing at the moment and this was just something I downloaded to test my download speed. So, I want to make a copy of Arc. As you can see, the whole game is here. It's 76 gigabytes. It's pretty big. I don't want to have to re-download that if the game breaks, as it is in early access. So that could happen. So, I want to make a new Explorer window. Go to my backup drive. It's my Steam library back up here. And then, I'm literally just going to drag this into there, it's going to copy and it might take a little while but it's not going to take anywhere near as long, for me anyway as downloading it again so I'll bring you guys back when this is done Alright guys, and we're back I ended up having to copy this onto a different hard drive because uh, the other one wasn't fast enough it was going to take too long but overall this took me about 20 minutes to copy over and obviously 20 minutes to copy it back when I want to reinstall it so that's 40 minutes which is a lot quicker than re-downloading 76 gigabytes of data so as you can see, the whole game's here, it's still 76 gigabytes, and if I wanted to reinstall it really quickly, I just have to drag and drop back into my Steam game files, click replace, and it's all done. You should bear in mind that it might not have completely copied everything perfectly, so you should probably validate your game files through Steam after you reinstall it, just to make sure. Thanks for checking out this tutorial guys, I hope it helped some of you, and if it did, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe anything else I can help you out with in terms of this please just leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you thanks for watching